for animals takes the most dire cases for animals and they go in there and they figure it out, they fix it, they bring attention to really awful situations, they change laws, they bring awareness to people and they're really changing the culture. So I can't think of anything better that I'd love to be part of. Um, you know, they do the really tough work. I do the easy work. I eat and I talk about what I'm eating and I post pictures that I write about. It's not a big deal, but they do the really hard work and I would do anything to support them. You know, what is the biggest misconception that most people have about being vegan? Oh my gosh, that is. That is salad. Uh, you know, I eat so much. I eat, um, I eat lasagna and chicken parmesan and uh, burgers and all kinds of stuff. I just eat plant-based versions of it. I enjoy the holidays, barbecues, everything. I'm a big eater. I'm not a salad eater. So I think the misconception is you're going to miss things. And in fact, you not only don't miss things, you find more things you didn't even know about. When you're educating people, what is the biggest hurdle you want to overcome when you talk to someone about being vegan and about what you do? Well, I think a lot of people think they have to be perfect, like they have to get it down right away and then they're afraid to screw up. But I believe in progress, not perfection. I think you point yourself in the direction of being someone who doesn't eat animals and you do the best you can. You go a little bit at a time, you find your way, you discover new restaurants, new items in the grocery store, check out new recipes. And then little by little, it becomes natural. So I, I would say take take away the perfectionism and anyone who... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyone who gives you a hard time about not being pure enough, you just shrug it off. Yeah. Before I let you leave, social media, how do we stay in touch with you? Oh, it's um, Instagram, Kathy Preston. Same thing for Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. Well, you look amazing, and if you're an example of being vegan, everybody needs to jump on board. I want to be like you now. You're so sweet. A little bit of makeup, a little bit of red lipstick, you know? Well, great. congratulations, Thank and have so fun much. tonight. Wonderful Thank to meet you. you. Thank you. Bye. I'm an animal rights activist because the animal rights movement is a movement that hasn't yet become mainstream. And uh, I believe that it benefits not only animals, but people. As a vegan, of course, I feel that I'm healthier, happier, and I have a more open heart, and I feel better than anybody who eats animals. And it's better for the planet, and it's better for the animals. What do you think the biggest misconception that people have when they you, you say you're a vegan? I know what it is, because actually my husband is not a vegan. And he, uh, he, yeah, uh -huh, we, we, he admits... Well, he admits that the stumbling block he has is that as an athlete, he believes he needs more protein. The problem is, I'm an athlete too. I swam 14 miles in, in, in seven hours on a vegan diet, on a vegan training program. So I'll be doing a 16 mile swim next year. And I am a vegan. So I, um, I would defy anyone who thinks that Protein is a problem. Have you ever heard of anybody who's ever died from lack of protein here in the United States? Have you heard of people who died from lack of fiber, lack of open arteries, you know, lack of greens? So we're really focusing on the wrong thing. Well, before you leave, if you had to say three things to people out there that to get them more sensitized, what would you say to them about animal activism? Three things. Okay. You mean... Gosh, well, I would encourage them to go vegan. A lot of times people say that they're addicted to cheese or they're, they can't give up their, their burgers. Well, then give up everything else and keep that thing that you just cannot give up. But give up everything else because an animal died for that. And for you to just sort of eat it because you kind of like it is such an insult. So um, that would be my number one encouragement. That's a good encouragement right there. But your social media, how do people stay in touch with you? Do you have social media, Instagram, Facebook, and all that yes, stuff? I'm, uh, I'm, I, you know. <laughs> do you remember? I'm at alexandrapaul.com. I'm at on Twitter, Alexandra underscore actress. And Facebook, un, uh, Alexandra dash actress. Yeah, uh, sorry, Alexandra dash Paul. Paul. 
thank you so that's much. 53. That, 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 no. I should know that by heart, but it just doesn't resonate with me. I should know that when yeah. people say, somebody asked me yesterday, what's your Twitter? And I was like, ah. Oh. I'm passionate about animals, and I'm passionate about my friends, Kathy Preston and Cindy Landon, who are being honored here tonight. You know, it's hard, and I understand that it's hard. I became a vegetarian at age eight, living in London, England, home of the meat pot pie, because of animals. And this year, I finally went vegan. And I realize sometimes it's hard and overwhelming to think that you could actually do it. But as Kathy Preston will say, you lean in. You start small. It's baby steps. And even if it's one night a week with your family, you do meatless, not only will you be helping animals, but I don't think people realize how much they'll be saving for their family. They will be saving money. Well, that was my next question. What do you think the biggest misconception the public has about being vegan? Well, I think, you know, I'm a gluten-free vegan on top of it. So um, I think a lot of people feel, oh, organics are so expensive, and if that's what I'm doing. Now, you know, Whole Foods has a whole thing with their 365 line that, and the organics line that says affordable for everybody. So make sure, look in your grocery store, see what you can buy that's organic, that you can use for your family. And I bet, I really, really bet you will still save a lot of money.